To receive a cigarette. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. And it's dangerous to smoke. <laughs> and it is dangerous to smoke, so at least you will have oh, a medical checkup later on for your lungs. But I think yeah. that. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. This is. Uh, this is you, uh, you have the. Yeah. You have this something. This man is a deep shit. That's uh, for sure. I think he has uh, put himself into deep shit, yeah. huh? Sunglasses you can't see, yeah. headphones you can't hear the orders from the captain. Yeah. No, he's still smiling. Yeah. He's still smiling. Uh oh, and his blindfold. Uh, Gary Kirkpatrick. I think he's deaf. Uh, I think he's deaf. A lot of people they noticed that you were too much talking about horses. It even went so far that you uh, even compared sometimes horses with ships. <laughs> I mean, but, you don't uh, remember that. No. Then you had too many Miller beers, maybe. <laughs> Have a sip. This is a really but special Miller. Just open. Yes. <laughs> yes. Trust us. Yes, take we one. We just opened it. Really yummy. I like it. Yeah. Oh. Yummy. Uh, properly, or no, is it? No, I think it's the wind. It is the wind. God. It's uh, the continuous. Uh, well, I think I said enough. I leave yeah. it to, uh, to Neptune. Yeah, I don't think the uh, gods are in favor with this man. No, no, I don't think so at all. Either. He lost his way on his uh, on his chart on his. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Any receivers? <laughs> yes, 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 certainly, certainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vous êtes une vraie criminelle, n'est-ce pas Sans aucune autorisation, vous avez traversé l'équateur deux fois. Yeah? Deux fois. Sans permission, sans permission du roi des océans et des mers. Monsieur le Nep Neptune. Non. Oui. Et, euh, Nep et Neptune n'est pas heureux avec une attitude comme ça. Ah. Mais euh, alors. Ah, un volontaire. Je, je hein? vous dis. <rire> je, je vous dis. Je vous dis préparer euh, pour le plus mal. Hein? Ah. Oui, oui. Euh, aussi. C'est une, une, une petite fin euh, seulement. Tu es toujours tard pour la pause du café. Toujours sur le ah, deck, euh, dans, le, dans, le, dans le masque. Ah, Et, <rire> mais, mais, mais je vais donner, 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 donner le dossier dans, dans les mains de Neptune et euh, il décide euh, pour la future. D'accord? Oh, you're just a bet against me. <rire> <rire> ok. Oh. Without telling me that you didn't have any certificates <laughs> sitting on the wrong side of the table. Yeah? One. Uh, yeah, I swear I'm here. Yes. Oh, is that why you're here? Okay. <laughs> well, we had it found out anyway, so uh, then, 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 then. <coughs> Okay, the punishment will be big now, but then it will be even bigger, I think. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Yes, I think yeah. as well, yeah. yeah. But she's not done yet. Yeah, no. So from, from now on, we want to hear, uh, hear English that we can understand. <laughs> I will try my best. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, steering wheel, compass. Quiet. He's almost as 
Okay. Han har uppmanat att Sosse Mo glatt när de stängde in. Sosse Mo hade kommit ungefär tio minuter tidigare och satt i samma soffhörna som dagen innan. I det andra hörnet satt Raskolnikov. Han var påklädd och hade, hade till och med tvättat och kammat sig ordentligt. Vilket inte hade hänt på länge. Rummet blev genast fullt men Natasha lyckades tränga sig in med, med besökarna och ställa sig och lyssna. Okej, okay. uh, uh, no, 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 Han talade föga ogärna om det som om det kostade på att göra det. Eller om... I think that's enough. I'd say good enough. I can to give you a, a lengthy lecture on the well-known German bis, uh, politician Otto von Bismarck. Right? However, before I embark upon my lengthy lecture, allow me to wipe my brow with this uh, <laughs> napkin. Thank you very much. I have to have it in my pocket. Okay. Otto, Otto von Bismarck was born as a, a member of the landed aristocracy in 1815 in East Prussia. He did not like democracy. So when the German managed to maneuver Prussia and the rest of Germany into war with France. I'm sorry to say that. Okay, so... And in fact... Lucy was not there yet. Lucy, you know, I'm, I'm so I can say. So, uh, and this war, unfortunately, went badly for France and Germany uh, managed to become a united country in 1871 and on January 1871 they actually went to Versailles I'm embarrassed to say that to proclaim the German Reich of 1871 okay so famous seaport of Hamburg sure Europa has been now we'll go next year yep. him still in Germany but not for his iron and blood policies what he is still uh, praised for is his social policy of introducing health insurance. Americans, mind you, he introduced health insurance in 18, 1882 with the employers and who the employers contributing 50% to the health insurance and also was not in favor of Germany acquiring co colonies. However, in the end, he had to give in to the pressure and Germany began to acquire uh, colonies even under Bismarck's rule in the late 1880s. In 1888 a new emperor came to the throne, Bismarck didn't get along with him and the emperor sacked him as a famous caricature showing a ship and uh, the Kaiser, the emperor, looking over the side as the pilot is leaving the ship and the pilot had been Bismarck for all these years. Okay. She looks like a turtle, doesn't she? <laughs> so stick your head out of your shield. Come on. Wow. Oh. oh, nice. Eduardo, that uh, can carry, uh, has a name that, is, that suits you well. And it is uh, the Stargazer. Oh Stargazer. Oh. Have a look in the book. He looks uh, not too nice. Interesting looking face. <laughs> he has his eyes. Gary. 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 Trying to be a 
name of Pilot Whale, but we thought well, he's not there yet, so we called you the Great Lakes Pilot Whale. Great, Great Lakes. <laughs> so a bit more studying, maybe. All right. <laughs> I'll work on it. As a tiny little bird, but in the end, appearing to be the most seaworthy bird, is the storm petrel. So let's hope you'll be one in future. That lives in caves all the time, only shoots out once in a while, and that's the conger eel. <laughs> You're welcome. The conger eel. Axel. Yes. Uh, smoking too much is good if you're a mackerel. <laughs> you mean a smoked mackerel. Bravo, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a lot of dolphins. Everybody knows the bottlenose dolphins, but there's also a small branch. This is called the wise nose dolphins. <laughs> He's one of them. <laughs> Dieter. Yeah. Being always nice in time, you know, it's a real teacher should be. We gave you uh, the name of a dolphin that is carrying the time on his back all the time. He's called the Hourglass Dolphin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay.